just getting my sharpening area sorted out and I've come a long way so I thought I'd go show you guys but here well, let's go to a wide angle here are a whole stack of my stones no it's not all of them but this is most of them and it's the ones that I'm trying to work out and what I'm work out what I'm doing with them so top shelf are the Australian those are Australian naturals uh, that I've made up myself uh, these there's two synthetics these are all I'm pretty sure they're all synthetics. Well, some of them I know are definitely synthetics. These, I think, are my naturals. Now, some of them, it's obviously, they're definitely naturals, but others, I'm not so sure about. I think, oh, I've actually got no idea about that. It's got very neat sides, but the mottled color of it leads me to think it's a natural. So all these sort of different colors of inclusion and stuff. Um, same with that one. This one is definitely a natural. You can see the, the cut marks there. Um, it's quite, quite coarse. I think that's probably oh, less than 400 grit, maybe a 300 grit. This one, I really don't know. Um, it's got the remains of branding on it. Um, if anyone recognizes that, let me know. Um, the ends, it looks very neat, so it's probably, it's probably a synthetic. But, yeah, I've got no idea. Anyway, that one came with a bunch of my other naturals, like uh, this one, um, which again is very neat, but you can see the cut marks, and it's got a, a sort of undulation to this side of it. Um, this one obviously is a natural and it's been i don't know what they've used to sharpen it with but there is not a flat side they've really carved out this face a lot so i don't know what i'm going to do with that um that's obviously a uh, a natural i think that must be it looks like it's been made up for gouges but whether someone's picked that up as an off cut from the quarry or something this one i think this is a japanese natural um, but there is a possibility that it's an Australian one that I've, I've just forgotten that I made up, but I think I would have remembered flattening it because it's very flat. Um, but um, it's quite a smooth stone. I would say it's maybe around 2000 grit. The little dark line does cause some problems. Um, so I've got to get some advice at one point or sooner or later on how to deal with that. Um, this is obviously a natural. I think this is for for razors. It's quite a fine, it's, uh, maybe not actually. It's pretty fine, but not super fine. Um, this one, I thought this was a synthetic, but when I had a closer look, it actually turns out it's a natural. And I haven't had a much chance to play with that yet. I really only just cleaned off the mud that was on top, which hid, hid all that colorful banding. Um, and then once I looked closer, I could see that the edges were a little bit rough and that it was actually indeed a, uh, a natural. Uh, There's my trusty Kings that I got started with. This is my replacement 800 grit because I wore my um, 800, grit, uh, 800 uh, King in this size away. A few Shaptons there, which I got for core stones, but I'm really unimpressed with. Um, oh, and this one. This one is interesting. Um, it looks like a synthetic. Um, this, this edge has some scratches in it, which might be cut marks, which might mean it's a, it's an, uh, a natural, but it's very, it's very porous. Look at that water just soaking into it there. So, yeah. Um, I'm pretty familiar with using synthetics for sharpening. What have we got? What's this one over here? Oh, that's another Australian natural that I made up. Um, very familiar with the synthetics. Um, pretty reasonable at sharpening. If, if you know my videos, you'll know that. Um, but I'm really wanting to learn more about the natural Japanese stones. Um, so if um, stay tuned as I learn more because I'll be passing it on here. Uh, I'm going to be posting this video in the Japanese uh, natural sharpening stone video, just sort of as a or Facebook group rather, just as an introduction to you know what I've got 
and where I'm at. So like I said, synthetics, I pretty much know what I'm doing and I can use them to very good effect. Naturals, I am a slightly better than a rank absolute beginner. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll just show you one more thing before I go. Um, over here is a whole stack of the Australian naturals that I've got that I will be testing. And there's a, a bench of stones there that I'll be cutting and polishing. A lot of them uh, vary between incredibly soft, uh, like this sedimentary rock, it's very, very soft, um, but seems to, from just basic tests, seems to do a decent polish. Whereas others like uh, this one are incredibly hard. And yeah, well, well not, no, well, I've already ruled this one out as a sharpening stone because it's just too hard, it doesn't abrade. Um, it, it works well to start with, but then, it, then the, it, it goes blunt, and because it's so hard, you can't you know, refresh it. So anyway, that's it for now. Catch you later.